Hello my dear kids, how are you all? I'm so glad you are with me for another math session together, alright? Now, you must be thinking, what is wrong with this teacher? Look what all she has with her. She has bananas and bubons and she's got marbles and she's got so many things. Oh, let me not forget, I have chocolates also. Mm -hmm. Now, you must be thinking, this teacher is out for setting up a stall. Well, don't get your hopes high. I'm not here to sell, but I'm here to tell. Do you know what I have to tell you? I have to tell you that whatever I have right now with me, I have 10 of them. Yeah, you want to count my biscuits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My bananas. I have 10 bananas. And my marbles? Oh yeah, 10 of them. And... Don't forget my chocolates. My chocolates, I have 10 cubes of them, which I have to hide from my elder sister. Oh my. Anyways, you must be thinking, why does the teacher have 10 of each object? Because today we are going to learn Daskadam. All right, let's see. Let's get on to what we have to learn. Here, here I have a few marbles. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How many have I taken? I have taken ten marbles. One plus 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 one is equal to ten. Alright, so if you take 1 10 times, you will get what? 10, correct? Now, remember, we are doing Tuskadam. So here, we are going to only take 10 times. Alright, whatever we are going to take, we are going to take only 10 times. So next, now I am going to take 10 marbles 10 times. Okay, so 10 plus 10 plus 10 marbles, 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 plus 10 marbles. That is 10 plus 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 10 is equal to 100. So if you take 10, 10 times, you will get 100. If you take 1, 10 times, 10. You get 10. If you take 10, 10 times, you get 100. Now, how about we take 100 10 times? Let's see. Okay, so we have 100 marbles plus 100 marbles plus 100 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 is equal to if you take 100 10 times, do you know what you get? You get 1000! Correct! Alright, now the most interesting thing. Let's take 1000 10 times. Come on, let's go on to it. Take 1000, 1000 marbles plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000. Plus thousand, plus thousand, plus thousand gives me ten thousand. Correct. All right. Now let us all take the answers together and see what do we get. First, we got ten. How do we write ten in words? Ten. Then we got hundred. When we took ten ten times, we got hundred. You write hundred in words like this. Then, if you take 100 10 times, you get 1000. You write 1000 like this. Then 1000, if you take 10 times, what do you get? 10,000. Then, this is how we write it in words. 10,000. Now, look carefully. 10, 10,000, 10,000. Does it ring a bell? you have something you learned in the last math session in the last math session do you remember 
number I have is 17. All right. Now 17 is a two digit number. How do I write it in words? Yeah, like this. And do I require hundreds, thousands and ten thousands? No, I do not require that because this is just a two digit number. And right now, let me introduce you to the first friends of the place values. That is tens and Units. Well, do you know tens and units are best friends just like my Teddy and Kitty. Yeah, Teddy and Kitty are best friends. If I ever keep them separately in different shelves, they get very upset. They say, no, keep us together. We will not go away from each other. They always are together. And they like to be called as Ted Kitty. Ted Kitty? Oh yeah, Ted Kitty. Why Ted Kitty? Because they like to be called together. Well, same way, tens and units also like to be called together. Yeah, they say one, seven, it doesn't like. It says, no, 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 call us together. One and seven together. One and seven together makes... 17. Correct. Did you understand? Yeah. Tens and units will always be read together. Alright. Now let's go to the next one. We have units, tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. And here we have the number 317. Now, do you require thousands and ten thousands? No. Let's say goodbye to it. And let us keep tens and units together before we start reading the number in front of us. All right. And now let's read what we have. Three is under hundred. All right. So we say three hundred. So I will write it like this. Three hundred and seventeen. Remember tens and units. Whichever number is there under it, you will take it to together. So you will not write 300, 1 tens and 7 units. You will write it as 317. Remember, they feel very bad. Huh? Mm. Let's go to the next one. Then this is a three digit number. When there are three numbers, you call it a three digit number. Then 
Unit tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousand. Let's have the next number in front of us. That is six three one seven. We don't require thousands, and so we say bye bye to it. And then we take our friends together, tens and units. And now, what number is under hundred? Three. What number is under thousands? Six. And so we take them individually. All right. So six thousand. Three hundred and seventeen. Okay, the number under thousand you will take separately. The number under hundred you will take separately. All right. So this is how we write in words. And this was your four-digit number. And now let's move on to the main thing: five-digit number, where you will see another set of best friends. Eager to see. Well, even I am. Let's move on. Units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. Our another number is two six three one seven. And now you tell me. Let's take our best friends T and U together. We have three under hundred. We have six under thousand. We have two under ten thousand. And you will say that is the next set of friends. Well, there they are. Okay, ten thousand and thousand. Yeah, we cannot take them separately. We have to take them together, just like rabbit and sparrow. Yeah. All right. Now you will ask, what do they like to call themselves? They like to call themselves as rabbaro. Yeah, rabbaro. Well, don't tell me what a silly name. It's their decision, you know. We need to respect that. They like to call themselves as Rabaro, and so we have to call them as Rabaro. And they like to be together all the time, just like thousands and ten thousands. Yeah, they like to always come to together. And so, what numbers do we have beneath them? Two and six. You cannot take them individually. You have to take them two. Together, so seventeen will be read together, and two and six also will be read together as twenty-six. Just like one and seven was called as seventeen and not one and seven. And one more thing: ten thousands and thousands. Both of them have come to a conclusion and says we both have thousand thousand, right? So why don't we have a common thousand? And so, when I have to write it down, I'll write it down like this: twenty-six thousand. All right, not twenty-six ten thousand. All right, we just write it as a common word which says thousand. All right, so we have twenty-six thousand three hundred and seventeen. Clear? All right. Let's look into some more examples, and we'll be more clear with the usage of these words. We have the Urdu code over here. And tens and units. So tens and units, best friends, and ten thousands and thousands, another best friend. Okay. Now this number we have in front of us, we'll take four and eight together as forty-eight, and we'll take nine and five as ninety-five. Now it's very easy to write it down in words. But can you say something? Ah, there's a zero in hundreds. Well, be very happy when there's a zero because jabi dekha humne anda humne mara usko goli. Correct. Now maro tiro ko goli because we're not interested in you at all. Whenever there is a zero, we will not write it down. So how do we write it down then? We will write ninety-five thousand. Kya hum goli mara? And forty-eight. Finish. Easy, right? So be very happy when zero occurs. Okay. Next number we have four zero three six. Let's write the Urdu code for it. Okay. And let's underline the best friends. And that is thirty-six. And so let's write it down. Four thousand. And there's nothing in the ten space, so it's a four-digit number. So I will take thousands separately. So four 
थाउजेंड एंड थर्टी सिक्स क्या मारा मैंने गोली मारा नेक्स्ट नंबर और राइट आई हैव सिक्स एट जीरो जीरो फाइव नाउ लेट मी राइट दी उर्दू कोड नंबर्स अंडर टेन थाउजेंड आल्सो थाउजेंड्स आल्सो हंड्रेड्स टेंस इन यूनिट्स आई हैव टू जीरोस थोड़ा दोनों जीरो को डिश के आओ एंड डिश के आओ सो लेट्स अंडरलाइन द बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स ओके जीरो एंड फाइव एंड सिक्स एंड एट ऑल राइट सो वी टेक इट टुगेदर सिक्सटी एट थाउजेंड डिश के � right so easy now let's see if you can identify the numbers from the words okay so we have right in figures okay so we have the first number in front of us 44730 first and foremost always write down the urdu code to find out the number so once you've written down now let's quickly check 44000 40 4 Thousand, and so remember, forty-four means the friends have come together. So write them under the thousand section. Forty-four. Okay, did you write under them? Then seven hundred. So seven is under hundred. So write seven under hundred. And thirteen. Thirteen is the next best friend, and they have come together. So how do you write thirteen? One and three. So you write one under ten and one under two, all right? And so we have the number in front of us: forty-four thousand seven hundred and thirteen. Let's go to the next one: eight thousand and five. When you see something small like this, you should know zero ka mamla hai, kider to kider to hai, all right? Come on, first write the Urdu code. Do not forget to write the Urdu code, all right? The first one. Eighty thousand, eight and zero, eighty. Okay, they will come together. So first, fill in the blanks over there. Eighty thousand, eight and zero will always come together. And directly five. Five means units, correct? All right. So put the five in units. At the end, direct. Beach me, beach me. Aayenge ande. So fill in the blanks with ande. So you have you wrote eighty down, all right. The remaining there is under hundred you will write zero, and under tens you will write zero, right? So this is the answer that you have eighty thousand and five. Let's go to the next one, seven thousand and four hundred. I give you the code down, okay? And then now you tell me seven thousand. So do you think ten thousand and thousand have come together? No, it's just a single number, right? So it's just seven, seven thousand. So let's write under thousand. We do not require the ten thousand symbol. So we have seven, all right, under thousand and four hundred. So four under hundred. हो गया? हाँ हो गया. बाकी का क्या करने का? बाकी के अंदर डालो zero. Ah, under and under. So tens and units will have zero and zero, and that's how we write seven thousand and. Four hundred. Go to the next one. Ninety thousand nine hundred and nine. Interesting number, huh? So first write your Urdu code down, and after that, all right, let's write down ninety-nine thousand. Ninety-nine means both have come to together. So we write ninety-nine. All right, ninety-nine thousand is over. Nine hundred. So under hundreds, you have another nine and nine. Is nothing under ten directly nine, and so tens के अंदर क्या डालेगा zero correct all right and that's how you get your ninety thousand nine hundred and nine that's how we write it down 
Now, let me see whether you are able to write in words and write in figures. All right. Well, um, what? They are telling me to sing song for them. Which song, my dear? together like good children okay so here we go one two three start